So the video topic I have for you guys today is something that's so sick and so twisted, something that's really going to pull on your vomit receptors as well as your heartstrings. Today I'm going to be talking about the short documentary that is Dolphin Lover. So the documentary is subject of a dolphin named Dolly and a Mr. Malcolm Brenner. They start off the documentary by basically explaining how he met Dolly while doing some sort of freelance photography job. So basically, it wasn't love at first sight, but he was extremely interested in this dolphin for some reason. And this isn't just any regular type of dolphin, by the way. This is some type of show dolphin on some OG SeaWorld shit. She's used to being around crowds, she's used to being around trainers, so she's pretty good with people. And eventually he gets to swim in the water with the dolphin, and though Dolly was afraid of him at first, she eventually swims over and kind of lets him pet her like a dog. And so he's petting her like a dog, he's rubbing her back, and he kind of talks about how he, she starts to roll over, much like a dog would under the water, but she eventually starts swimming up a little bit more and more, until he's eventually just rubbing on this dolphin cooch. So yeah, I don't know, my dog has never done that. But yeah, he's rubbing this dolphin cooch, and after rubbing this dolphin cooch, he decides that he wants to have a closer relationship to this dolphin, so he's going to start seeing her a lot more often. And he talks about how every time he sees her, I guess he's just turning this dolphin on more and more. She's rubbing her coochie all over his arms, and he keeps saying how old Dolly just wants to court him. And that's in his words, not mine. And he basically tells how she's nibbling on his legs and his arms in an attempt to turn him on, and apparently it works, because... In his own words, he found this shit to be quite erotic. So then he breaks into why he pretty much is the sick man he is today. He tells a story of how he got into bestiality. When this guy is five years old, he goes to see a movie about a dog, and he ends up getting very, very turned on by this shaggy dog. This man had a bone for that dog to clean with his teeth, if you know what I mean. And then he talks about the first time he actually tried to have sex with an animal, was when he was 12 years old, and he tried to have sex with the family dog. He goes on to tell how other guys would be talking about girls and doing sexual things with them in high school, and he could really just care less. But yeah, I bet this psycho could care less, going home and having a field day with a family dog and a jar of peanut butter every day. Sick bastard. But yeah, getting back to the dolphin, he says he felt that she was really the only female who really cared about him. It kind of starting to make sense now, this guy has zero chance of getting any lady to pleasure him sexually, so these animals started looking real nice. And one day it sounds like he finally got the dolphin all alone when everyone else was on break or something, so he was finally ready to smash this dolphin once and for all. Because everything up to this point was apparently mere foreplay. And weren't the people who own this place like, why the fuck is this guy so attached to this dolphin? Why is he always in the water with this dolphin? What the fuck? So yeah, he tries to have sex with this dolphin for the first time, but his stroke game was too weak and he got some stage fright, so he's basically out there swinging a serious garden hose. And here's where the documentary tries to make you feel bad for the guy and explains that he suffered quite a bit of emotional and physical abuse at a young age and this is why he believes he is attracted to animals and he says animals make him feel safe and happy so just naturally he let out his sexual frustrations on these animals right until he essentially compares his love for these animals to interracial marriage seriously this man thinks that just because black and white marriage was legal around 50 years ago that people having a relationship with an animal will be considered normal within the next 50 years. This is really just the point that I stopped feeling bad for this guy, because he realizes that he's truly the one with the problem, but he still wants us to accept him like there's nothing wrong with him. Hmm, sounds a little bit familiar. My god, I don't know what type of logic that is, but I'm gonna stick to what I know. The genitalia of my species should at least remain within the realm of my species, okay? So, yeah, you're on some other shit. People and animals getting married or people and animals making love is never going to be okay because you can't really get an animal's consent. No? I don't know. Let's keep going. So yeah, then he explains how the last time he went to see this dolphin was the time he was actually able to engage in sex with her. So this creep actually calls it making love that day, describing the dolphin as very gentle and enormously erotic again. He acts like this dolphin is as seductive as fucking Salma Hayek or something, so I don't know what this dolphin was doing, but yeah, she's extremely erotic. He says that they had to try several different positions, and it's funny as fuck, because whoever did the documentary is given this little visual that just killed my ass. <laughs> and he talks about how they merged together and really became one. Like with this fucking dolphin people, he became one. And this guy says he's never in his whole life experienced such intense, intimate, sexual attraction with anyone and he even claims that him and dolly finished at the exact same time and he knows that because this dolphin let out these three loud screeches which let him know that, that cooch was donezo she made a series of three 
groans in a rising cadence, and that led me to believe that she had also experienced an orgasm. So yeah, after they have sex, he cuddles with her for a little while and then he bounces. He tries to justify his actions, explaining that it wasn't rape of this dolphin, but he was merely making love. So he decided to hit it and quit it, and apparently that made this dolphin so heartbroken that she decided to swim to the bottom of the tank and hold her breath and kill herself. That's some crazy shit. That's some Romeo and Juliet shit. This guy must think he's a real romantic. So yeah, pretty much this guy meets this dolphin, has a one night stand with her that affects her so much that she kills herself. Nice. And at the end it talks about how this sick man actually has a daughter of his own. And I'm just thinking, damn, that ex-lover must be on suicide watch right now after watching this video. But that's really all I have to say about this dolphin lover. Do you guys think that this is an okay thing for him to be doing? Is it animal abuse to be just having sex with them? I don't know. But this video was fucking crazy. And white people need to calm down at time. I'm totally playing, but... I hope you guys liked this video. Leave a big like on this video and subscribe, bro. Leave a comment too telling me what you think about this weird ass man. I'll be giving more details on my giveaway in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, I'll catch up with y'all later. I'ma always put in work like this I don't know how to stop being turned like this I'ma always go up Ain't no time for hold up I'ma always put in work like this I don't know how to stop being turned